Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about the new collaboration. Okay, so I believe that many of you guys gonna be excited. Okay, because yes, finally we get Kingdom Heart collaboration. Many of you guys have asking this, but yes, I'm kind of disappointed. I hope my disappointment won't be getting bigger on Friday. But let's just talk about it. Okay. So first thing that we need to know is we will get nerf, okay? I'm not sure about the abilities, but yeah, let's take a look about it, okay? So let's start with Sora. So the nerf that Sora get right now that I know is for his Trustmaster and Super Trustmaster, okay? So her, his Trustmaster reward on the global gives you 160 attack. It is same like the Japan version, but the difference is, yes, the true dual wield boost. Okay, so on the global we only get ten percent, while on the Japan they get thirty percent. So that's quite big difference. Okay, guys. And for Super Trust Master Reward, it is the thing that I really want to complain. Okay, so I understand if they want to nerf the. Trustmaster because yeah you simply need to pull one Trustmaster and tada you are get the Trustmaster okay so they need to nerf but for Super Trustmaster we need to pull lots of I mean not lots okay but for Sora to get that Super Trustmaster reward so in other words many whales gonna spend lots of money to get his Super Trustmaster but they still nerf it okay so I believe that. Even without the nerf, the well still gonna be really powerful. So really, guys, I don't think the nerf is needed for his super trust master. But yes, it is quite big. Okay, fifty percent true dual will to only twenty percent. So in these terms, I think yes, his super trust master reward is still good because seventy percent attack boost without restricted to any weapon. But still, the true dual will bonus. Oh my God, what are you? What are you trying to do here? Okay, now enough about the nerf. Okay, I believe they will nerf the his abilities too. Okay, but let's just talk about what Sora able to do because I believe that they only nerf the damage multiplier, but the overall kits are same on the global. So good things about Sora are he can chain with many powerful moves. Okay. The first is Mirror of Equity, second Tornado, and the third Divine Ruination. Also, from the Japan side, uh, I can find that he can chain with Meteor Plus Two. Okay, so Gumi already said that we will get Cloud's Ability Awakening. Then, after you have done, I mean, after you have awakened Cloud, then he can chain with Cloud too. But I'm not sure whether it will be easy or hard. But Absolute Mirror of Equity, Tornado, and Divine Ruination are one, not one, okay, are the best chaining moves in this game. Okay, so pretty amazing. Even yeah, with those, I really interested to pull for sure. Okay, the interesting thing here is. Sora has high damage multiplier. Okay, so his Ars Arcanum can reach about 19 times damage when max. So it is a stacking ability. So 19 times damage when reach maximum. I believe they will nerf it on the global because really, guys, if they keep 19 times on the global, then he will be totally broken right now. I know that. I know the reason for the nerf, but I really hope they will buff him back to normal like they did on Noctis. Okay, but they don't say anything about it, or maybe I miss it, so that's that's why I'm kind of disappointed, okay? And another good thing about Sora is he can move, move, I mean, yeah, he can move past the limit, okay? Like you know that chaining can only give you 300% bonus damage, okay? But Sora can reach 600%, yeah, 600% on chaining 
boost cap. Okay, so that's pretty insane. I don't think they need to nerf this. Maybe they will nerf, nerf this, okay, maybe to 400 to 500. But from what I know, maybe the global, maybe the first character that will get this breaking damage boost cap is Regan. So I don't see any problem with this one, okay, so they shouldn't nerf this. And another interesting thing here is Sora, no triple cast. So he is really flexible character. He can become a dual wielder because that true dual wield. And he also can become a double, true double hand character because he has that passive that increase his mm, true double hand. Okay, so pretty good. One thing I don't like is, yes, I have said the nerf the nerf guys i'm not sure how bad he will be nerfed but maybe i believe that he will be at least at least on par or a little bit more powerful than Hyo. because from what i read the japan players say that sora is about on par with akstar okay so enough about sora let's just wait till friday now for cloud Okay, so he is really cool, like you know that, whoa, my god, the sprite is really good. Okay, I really want to pull, yeah, simply because his sprite is really good. So for his Trust Master reward, it seems that they don't change anything because, yeah, I don't see anything need to be changed from his Trust Master. Basically, his Trust Master is as good as Elfrida Trust Master, okay, 40 attack. For Elfrida, her Trustmaster reward gives you 2 LB regen per turn, but Cloud gives you defense and spirit plus 10. So I think, yeah, it is kind of bad. I mean, bad compared to Elfrida. And Akstar, Akstar Trustmaster reward also same 40 attack with 50% faster LB fuel rate. So knowing that, I think Cloud Trustmaster is the worst. But still, it is pretty decent, especially if you don't have Martial Dwarf right now, because this cloud is not a trash like Elfrida. So, let's talk about his Super Trust Master. His Super Trust Master also probably not that important, okay? They only reduce the attack from 190 to 180. So yeah, it is not much difference. This really make me wonder why they even bother to reduce only 10 attack. Just leave this, okay? Because 10 attack won't make you extra powerful. I understand if they want to reduce uh, Sora, Super Trust Master and Trust Master reward. But for Cloud, oh my god, this really blown my mind, okay? Now let's talk about his abilities. Cloud only able to chain with divine ruination maybe yeah uh, may meteor plus two like sora later but his main kit is divine ruination is he bad not at all because his chaining has really high damage multiplier and it is a back load chain like yo so only japan okay only japan he has a uh, cooldown ability that deals 41 times damage it is a finisher and yes it's true double hand character and now double cast so imagine this you use his divine ruination training and put this 41 times finisher at the end i mean as your second ability on your w cast he will deal insane amount of damage okay so that's why i think yes he will be nerfed so bad in the global maybe it will only become 20 times damage i'm not sure let's just see this friday okay i mean yeah thursday after maintenance one thing i don't like about this cloud is he doesn't know triple cast it is really strange right because sora who is a uh, yeah sora is a flexible but he is made to become true dual wield attacker but yeah he now triple cast but cloud who is a true double hand character doesn't now triple cast 
So yeah, that's kind of strange. But I believe that without triple cast, this cloud is insane. Okay, and one thing for sure, I believe this cloud is better than normal cloud seven stars form. So really, guys, this cloud is very good. So I think that's all you need to know about this weak characters. Okay, only two five stars base. There are no four stars and three stars on this banner. Now, let's return to the main section like usual. Should you summon? I really confused. Okay, what to say here? I should say no. But really, guys, this is fanboy banner. One of the banner that no is pain for my subscribers. Many will be angry. And for this banner, I kinda agree okay because I play uh, Kingdom Heart 2 and I like I like the game so yeah I like Sora and especially this cloud the sprites are too cool really I cannot say anything but here are my thought okay both these characters are really powerful I have said on the beginning that Japan players say that these two are on Axtar level so yes, Akstar is still maybe about 5 months away for the global. So that's why I said they're definitely gonna be nerfed. But I believe they also will make this at least, no, no, at least, okay. But they will make this too more powerful than Hyo. Maybe only a little bit, but still, they will be more powerful than Hyo, I believe, okay. So. It is all up to you whether you want to pull or not. But if you don't have heal and you have all other roles complete, okay? So you have healer, you have tanker, buffer ready for your party, then I think it is worth to pull this too, okay? And make them into seven stars. But I believe you only need one. You don't need to. Yeah, you don't need to get those two okay unless you are well this is my tips for free to play or dolphin players okay not not uh cannot be applied if you are dire friends or brother and yeah my question is will they remove the nerf like noctis in the future i'm not sure about that okay so really guys knowing that in mind you you need to decide okay is it worth it to pull this two? But if they say that it is worth, I mean, if they say they will uh, buff this two in the future, then maybe it is worth okay. But I believe they will buff this two after Ark Star available on the global okay. And yes, this is raid event, so probably this mean free trust master for this two okay. Easy to get. My suggestion for you, I'm also confused, okay, because I'm also really tempted to get Sora, okay. I think Sora is better than Cloud because his ability and flexibility, I mean his ability to chain with multiple abilities, okay. Also that absolute mirror equity gonna be divine renation, I mean yeah, absolute mirror of equity gonna be a replacement for Defy Ruination in the future. So getting a character who able to use that absolute mirror of equity is a good investment in my opinion, okay? So yeah, they also give us free 10 plus 1 summon, okay? So it is really, really tempting because let's say you get one Cloud or one Sora from that free 10 plus 1 summon. I believe you will be really, really temp up, tempted to do the step up. Yes, they give us a discount here. So we only need to spend 24,000 lapis. Whoa, 1,000 lapis discount. Okay, and the last step will give us guaranteed Sora or Cloud. Okay, so if you only get Sora or Cloud from your free 10 plus 1, there's a chance that they will troll you with another character. That means you need to at least, at least you need to do two step up, okay? With two step up, you will get 
7 star Sora or Cloud and yes that's good okay so I can only you I mean I can only suggest you to do step up if you get both Sora and Cloud on your free 10 plus 1 summon if you don't get them then it is all up to you whether you want to do step up or not okay but maybe I'm gonna try to spend my tickets so yeah before I try before I try to do the step up I mean okay remember that yes I, I have I will say this again these two are powerful but remember they will Gumi have said that they will also I mean yeah there will be synergy collaboration too on the global and yeah Xenogir characters are also really powerful so ask yourself okay are you interested on Xenogir's banner if yes then maybe you should save your lapis at this moment okay especially if you are free to play like me right now I only have 72,000 lapis and if I spend that let's say I spend 48,000 lapis oh my god I won't have any enough lapis for Xenogir collaboration okay so I leave you to decide okay we also need to see how how bad they nerf these two characters but like I said I believe they are at least as powerful as you okay so yep I think that's all you need to know about this banner thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy for our next bye bye guys